posterior approach, similar to what was me previously mentioned as it pertains to the lateral approach, the medial approach. It's an excellent approach to get loose bodies out of the back of the knee, not oftentimes utilized for total joint surgeons, but it is important to understand the anatomy. There's no true internervous plane. Uh, the neurovascular structures lies between the medial and lateral, the middle, the middle, the medial and lateral heads of the gastrox, and slightly more medial than lateral. One percent of vessels will be right abutted to the bone, and be, uh, that can be a question asked as it pertains to pin placement during tibial preparation in total knee. Two types of incisions, the inverted L and the S shape, both are designed to reduce contracture and maximize exposure. Important here, during a superficial dissection, whether you do the L or the, or the uh, inverted S, the sural nerve, as well as the saphenous vein, need to be protected, and they're just below the fascia. In the deep dissection is identification of the neurovascular structures that are located, again, between the medial and lateral head of the gastrox. And if you do an extensile exposure to the posterior approach, what can be, as we mentioned previously, as it comes across laterally, you run into the perineal nerve as it comes around the biceps femoris nerve, or biceps femoris muscle. Things at risk, like obviously, if you're in the back of the knee, you got to think about the neurovascular bundle. It's the popliteal artery, the tibial nerve, and its tributaries, as well as the vein. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.